There are three symptoms that help differentiate between methane dominant SIBO and hydrogen dominant SIBO and these are the two main subtypes of small intestinal bacterial overgrowth bacteria or in the case of methane archaea bugs in the wrong spot in the small bowel so we use these when patients come in to help kind of get of a feel on where we want to intervene and what herbs we want to use but I'm always recommending SIBO breath testing if I even slightly suspect there's a SIBO case run the SIBO breath test. You can learn more about that here. So this is just to get us a little bit of a feel for what's going on. It's pretty basic. You know, some advanced watchers here might say, look, I know what SIBO I have, or, you know, I've heard all this a million times, but I think the basics and the fundamentals are really important. I'm so deep on this, you know, I treat SIBO all day, every day in the clinic and things can get really complicated. The fundamentals and the foundational pieces can get kind of overlooked on my part because I just assume you already know this. So we're gonna cover the basics, the three essential symptom differentiations that we use between methane and hydrogen dominant SIBO. And remember, this is big data. Like you might have methane dominant SIBO and you might not fit this picture at all, but most patients will fall into one of these categories in these presentations. That's typical. So number one would be bowel movements. And I'm always surprised when new patients are uncomfortable talking about their bowel movements. I talk about it all day, every day. It's my favorite subject. It gives us a window into your digestive tract. So get comfortable because it's, uh, it's valuable data. And the difference between methane dominant SIBO and hydrogen dominant SIBO tends to be bowel movements either being loose, and watery, maybe urgent, maybe reactive, like you eat food and you have to run to the toilet to have a bowel movement, a loose watery bowel movement, diarrhea. That's the hydrogen dominant SIBO side of things. And these bugs, it tends to be the accelerator on the gut flushing things out, getting things out as quick as you can. You know, almost a bit of that kind of food poisoning picture a little bit, uh, a bit more chronic than that. On the methane dominant side of things, it tends to be constipation. The headline, the hallmark of methane dominant SIBO is a sluggish gut constipation, things not moving, things just sitting there, whether that's skipping days, whether that's dry, hard to pass stools, whether that's incomplete bowel movements or small bowel movements, you know, whatever it is, that tends to be the methane dominant SIBO picture. Number two would be bloating and distension, visible distension, actually looking bloated. And this is typical of all SIBO presentations. If a new patient comes to me and says, look, I'm so bloated sometimes frequently that I almost look pregnant. I'm immediately thinking SIBO. We want to rule it out. We want to run a SIBO breath test. The difference between hydrogen dominant SIBO patients and methane dominant SIBO patients tends to be that reactivity. So hydrogen dominant SIBO patients, they tend to have a very flat tummy in the morning in their fasted state, right? They've gone all night without eating food and in the morning they tend to have a flat tummy and they tend to react quite quickly after they eat most foods. And when it gets really bad, it could even be water that triggers that bloating quite quickly, you know, within half an hour or an hour. Hydrogen dominant SIBO patients tend to blow up like a balloon. On the methane dominant side of things, they tend to be permanently visibly distended, right? So they'll wake up in the morning and they'll still be visibly distended. They have breakfast, they don't get a whole lot more bloated, they're still bloated. Lunch, it's a little bit worse. Evening, it's a little bit worse after their um, evening meal. And it's really, really, really big here where a patient says, look, I'll wake up bloated and things will just gradually get worse. And the evening I am the most bloated I am, you know, and then I'll just rinse and repeat the next day. And again, that's because things are taking quite a while to track 
through the digestive tract. Things are very slow and sluggish with methane dominant SIBO. So the third big piece here that can help us differentiate between hydrogen dominant SIBO and methane dominant SIBO is transit time. And that's how fast things are taking to track from your mouth to the toilet bowl. You can learn how to do that here. I won't cover it in this video. So you can go and look at that video uh, when you can but don't get confused around bowel movements and transit time. You know, new patients might say, look, I have a bowel movement every day. My transit time's 24 hours easy. They're not closely connected. You can have loose watery bowel movements multiple times a day, and you can still take three, four, five, six days to track from mouth to the toilet bowl. So on the hydrogen dominant side of things, remember that's the accelerator, that's pedal to the metal the transit time tends to be quite fast things are moving through quite quickly it could be 10 12 you know 13 hours 14 hours to to go go from the mouth to the toilet bowl it's quite quick and on the methane dominant side of things it can range it can be severe it can be moderate it could not be the problem at all but it's typically maybe three to five days from mouth to toilet bowl for you know a severely impacted methane patient they're constipated they're always bloated and distended and things are just not moving through the digestive tract and when it gets really severe i've seen it all the way up at two weeks three weeks I think the worst I've ever seen was four weeks for things to track through the digestive tract completely. And that patient was severely compromised. She was really, really unwell, lots of digestive uh, symptoms. So if a patient presented with these symptoms and we're kind of differentiating, it feels like methane dominant SIBO, feels like hydrogen dominant SIBO, it could be a mixed bag, alternating bowel movements, loose and constipated in the same day, I would still highly recommend a SIBO breath testing. And you can learn more about that here.